Hey everybody, this is Ion Stuff, and today I am going to show you how to disassemble the Baofeng UV5R handheld dual band transceiver. And here are some of the tools that you'll need. You need a needle nose pliers, and it needs to be kind of long and thin. can see that here and you need that thin tip you also need a driver and these are the three bits that you need you need on the right side it's a small Phillips the middle one is a very small flathead and the left is a number nine Torx. You also need a kind of long razor blade. It needs to be fairly thin and a couple of inches long like this. Now you're not going to cut anything, but I'll show you why you need it when we get to that point. You'll also need a container. This will hold the small parts and screws that you remove. Uh, it does not look like it yet. Okay, the first thing you need to do is to turn off your radio. Remove the antenna. You also need to remove the on-off and volume knob. Basically, you pull it straight out. It's not too hard. Put that in the container. Now, you do need to unscrew two small, thin nuts. And the first one is for the volume control and on off switch. See if you can get a look at that. There is a slot on each end. Now since you have the knob here, you can't use a large screwdriver. You need some needle nose pliers. So you need to put it right in the two ends of the needle nose. Put in the slot and turn it counterclockwise. and that will loosen it and do that until it loosens and comes off the next part is the antenna connector it's the same type of thing if you look closely there there are slots going one way and slots going the 90 degrees to the other one. Unscrew it the same way. And when you put it back together, you don't really need to tighten it extremely tight. It should be um, just snug. And when you get to a certain point, you can actually use your fingers to turn it. So after you do that, you want to remove the battery. Just depress this. Remove the battery. Now, mine used to be camouflaged. You can still see the camouflage on the other side of the battery. But with the battery in, you can't see any of the camouflage. Okay, with the Phillips head, you can remove these two screws here, this one and this one, holding down the belt clip. Next, 
you want to use the number nine Torx to remove these two Torx screws here. Now these two Torx screws actually holds down the battery release spring assembly. So you want to hold this unit down with this finger and your thumb. Hold uh, this down so it doesn't um, come apart yet. You want to remove the screws and carefully remove the uh, end plate. So take the screw Okay. Now when you remove this, there's a spring underneath, so you don't want things to fly out or things to drop out, so you actually have a spring here. The spring actually can be removed. As you see, here's the spring, fairly small. The spring actually sits in this portion here around this little nub that sticks out. The next step is to remove these two screws here and you also need a number nine Torx. Okay, so you have all the screws removed. One thing you need to do is open up the speaker mic flap here. That needs to be uh, opened up. Now you need the really small flathead. And it needs to be really thin and pointy. And the reason why is you need to lift up the, this metal plate from the plastic housing. So it is moving up slightly. Hopefully you can see that. Then you can lift it out. Now you don't want to lift it out abruptly or too far because there are there's wires going to the speaker. This is the uh, speaker mic cover that comes off. So once you lift it up, you can actually flip it over gently and you will see the wires going to the speaker. So you don't want to pull it too far out or the speaker wire will detach from the speaker and there's probably not a, a strong connection there. Maybe uh, it's soldered on I believe so. So if you also look here this is the keypad and that can be removed as well. all one piece for the keypad, VFO, AB switch, and band button as well. So here's where you want to be careful. You don't want to touch any of the components here. If you have any static charge built up in your body, if you look on the side here, you'll see the pushers from the inside. It's pretty uh, strong rubber. And this area here, this is all one piece. 
if you wanted to remove the mode the rubber piece for the mode button you can push it out and you'll need something like this that's not sharp or anything and you want to push this inward here and it will actually come out you can also push here push it in and it'll come out inward this um, portion here is the push to talk that cannot be removed And that is how you disassemble the UV5R. I'll put this down here. Now this piece here, that plate with the spring underneath it, there is the push button to release the battery. You want to make sure you don't lose that. There's a little plastic piece here. This fits underneath here. These two side bars that come out, that fits right into there. And you want to put it back the same way as it came out. Okay, let's uh, put this thing back together now. As you can see, I put the uh, key pad back in, the rubber pad. I want to gently uh, place this on top. Make sure that you get the speaker mic cover back in the uh, spot here. This goes in in this fashion here. Put the volume control knob and the antenna connector through the holes and also make sure that the LED light goes through the hole as well. As you can see on top here, you need to get those through and the speaker mic cover is in place. Gently push upwards Want to align it. Now, the reason why you need may need this razor blade is because this metal portion frame here may push down on the rubber pushers here and will not align correctly with the actual button. And so you need to separate the rubber piece from this chassis so this rubber pusher will line up with the actual button. So what we'll do is make sure this is pushed all the way in. Take the razor blade, stick it in here. And this is mainly done with the monitor button here. Push down. Make sure it separates. And this metal part does not push down the rubber piece. So you want to separate it. Push it all the way down. And then you can remove the blade. Make sure the speaker mic cover is in correctly. So all the pushers are working well now. You can hear that click. And that's why you may need this blade here. Double check the uh, speaker mic cover. Close it.
Now you can use the number nine Torx. Okay, you can put the number nine Torx screw back in here. And here. And now this plate here, you do need a spring. So you need three pieces here. The spring, the battery release push button here, or lever, and this end plate. So first you take the spring, place the spring inside this, this area right here. Now that the spring is in place, I'm going to take this end plate cover, turn it over, and make sure that the push where, when it, where it says push, that's face downward. Push it underneath this slot there, and it should pivot like this. And the spring should not come out. It's actually held in with some friction. To turn it over like this. and it should slip in just like that. To test the push button here, make sure that it does have spring back. Now you can get the number nine Torx. Should be two screws. Now you don't want to try to enter, uh, screw it in, in these two slots here, or holes. This is for the belt clip. This is for securing the end plate here. Okay, that end plate is in. The push lever for the battery release has spring tension to it. Now you want to put the little screws to secure the volume control and on-off knob as well as the antenna connector here. Here's the uh, one for the antenna connector. You can actually start it by hand. Make sure it's actually threaded correctly and it should go in pretty easily. Now you can use your needle nose pliers and actually tighten it snugly, but not too tight. You can do the same with this little nut here. Make sure that the slot that is on top is facing upward or you will have problems taking it off later on. Just slip it over there. Now this might take a little time to get it lined up. A little snug, not too tight. Make sure that the volume control and on-off switch works fine. Okay, we're almost there. Take the volume knob, on-off knob. it back in. You may have to twist it until it gets into the proper orientation. Now for the belt clip. You should have two screws. As such, you will need this, the Phillips bit. Since the bell clip is spring-loaded, it's easier to have the battery out of the unit.
Now you may need to press down to make this end plate flush with the plastic end plate first and then you can screw it in. Make sure the other side is lined up as well. and You can hold it like this to screw it in. Okay, now that you have the bell clip secure, you can reinstall the battery. Make sure you hear a nice snap. And there you go, it's back together. You just need the antenna. Make sure it's nicely threaded so you don't strip it. And it should turn on. And that is oops, a little loud. And that is how you disassemble and reassemble the Baofeng UV5R. I hope you found this helpful. Thanks for watching and please subscribe. Have a great day.